Okay, so here's the thing. We just did a How I Story Time Saturday. Wow. Did you hear that? I did. Of it's How I Met Chloe Bennett. Bennett, thanks to Ginny who asked. Um, and in that video, Zach said, Zachary Burt Abel did a suggestion, um, kind of an unofficial suggestion, but he does have the ear. I of just, the host. it was an it was an impromptu, it was an ad lib. It was a great ad lib. A riff. An ad lib? A riff. Um, of a story time about our first Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con experience as an Agents of Shield cast. Um, the the bit to say really is how we got to Comic Con because tons of stuff happened at well, Comic Con. It was also and that's like three days of crazy. Press. Yeah, but it was pre like no one had seen. It was the show. pre the show being out. There was a lot of buzz around it um, because. You know, it was extremely a, a really expensive pilot. It was Joss Whedon. It was Marvel's first TV live action TV show. All those things. So there was buzz around it, but it hadn't come out yet. And they, you know, San Diego Comic Con was kind of the perfect place for us to get introduced as this cast and uh, characters. And we actually showed the pilot at the uh, panel that was in Hall H, which is like the biggest no, room. Wasn't in Hall H. Oh right. Well, it was in a super big room with loads of people. <laughs> and they showed the pilot. Anyway, so that was, and that was the buzz that, oh, they're going to show the pilot. Da, 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 da. It was huge. It was a big deal. Like, just to cut four, well, uh, and start. You, you, huge deal. Anyway, huge. so we had been filming for, so when is it? In, in May? No, no, no. July is when Comic Con is. Oh, July. You're right. Yeah. Oh, July. So we had, we'd done the pilot in January and then we got picked up in. Remember you found out the pickup at uh, Tyler and Alana's wedding? Oh. And you like walked away and started, you're like, oh, oh yeah. my gosh, we're like, wait, you're married. And she got picked up, so the best weekend ever. Yeah, that was such a good night, wasn't it, in the desert? Anyway, yeah. so, um, we. We'd been filming for uh, six weeks or so. So we, so we knew each other, um, but we were all still kind of new friends. And obviously Clark had been to Comic-Con before. Probably Ming had actually, but none of the rest of us had. So <laughs> the way that it would always work is we left super early on Thursday. So we'd all come to the lot um, that was in Culver City. We'd all show up, park our cars. And this was at like, at what time did we get there? 4.30, 5 a.m.? It early. was about like, yeah, it was super. It, was it might have even been early then for something. Yeah, I, I should find my little email. Well, because we were driving down to then get to the hotel to do hair and makeup to then start your, your yeah, full day. Yeah, we had press, press on Thursday, yeah. and so we were in Los Angeles, which should be it should be like a two, two three hour drive two to, to two Diego. 15 drive, really, Where without the traffic. Is, yeah, but because of Comic Con, they're like, well, we need to budget like five hours. Yeah, so there, much traffic. Four or five hours. So we left super early. So we all get this really blurry eyed. Ming is in her like pajama panda onesie with pillows and blankets. So basically, she just picked up her bed this and brought kind of it like, into the van. Because they, they allowed like plus ones to come along yeah, with everyone. Yeah, so she had, they her had kids, like kids, she a had a husband. Yeah. So anyway, we show up. <laughs> Which is very generous of them to do because yeah, like it was super. I mean, I was like, oh my god, they've got a car for us. I was thinking we would drive and then have to park or get the train, all that stuff. Anyway, they sent. They were like, we're gonna have you all, you know, as a way to kind of bond as a cast, and it was probably much cheaper. Also, they got this um, like a like a well, they described it as a luxury party you know, bus, basically. It, yeah, a lot. They but they described it as like a luxury multi-person transit vehicle or whatever. And we got there, and it was a party bus, which I, I mean, I was absolutely over the moon. So it was all blacked out windows, like a little van. Imagine a black little like van. like a thirty foot. Yeah. Party bus. <laughs> yeah. So I get on being like, "Whoa, this is amazing." <laughs> And so then we don't really know each other. A lot of our plus ones had never met. It was the first well, time the like, pilot, meeting. Because the pilot, no one could go to set and visit. Like, Most any time yeah, during it the was, whole of the shooting. It was, it was really hard to get people to Especially early on. It yeah. was like lockdown. Yeah, like, every, like all scripts had yeah. to be shredded. So everyone's kind shredded. of like, you know, what yeah, do you... Yeah, just new friends and we're about to get in this van and then go on a 
three, four hour journey and then we're gonna get there and have just, like there was a lot of nerves, I think, and excitement, but we just- I would say it was our the was... most anticipated show of Comic-Con. Yeah, it was like Comic-Con It was gold. It was like it was perfect mega, to, mega, mega. And this was where we yeah. were gonna do a lot of our first interviews and first photographs as a cast and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, and our schedule was just nuts. Anyway, and we'd also filmed on that Wednesday, so then we turn up super tired. Anyway, we get in this bus. I feel like you're gonna remember this more than I am because I think you've got better memory than me. I don't think that's true, but go on. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying, you go on. Oh, oh, oh I'm, I'm cutting in here. Um, <laughs> So the, the funny, we, we get on the bus, we start driving down, and the, <laughs> everyone's like getting settled in, you know, like people have got snacks and like water and, you know, whatever. And um, I think, was Loeb on the bus? Was Jeff Loeb on no, the bus? No, Jeff Loeb was not on the bus. I know Megan was. Yeah, Megan was, I want to say Mo and Jed were. Mo and Jed were. Um, I think Jeff Bell was. Obviously Clark, all the cast. Yeah, Clark, Clark and Jen. Brett, Ming. Yeah. Um, was Stella there? Yeah, Stella was there. Uh, Clark's daughter. Anyway, all the cops so, asked. And like, secretly, you know, Clark Gregg, Colson of the hashtag Colson Lives phenomenon that started this show that is Comic Con royalty, was on this party bus with like a load of us idiots, basically. Obviously, he had a great sense of humor about it, but looking back, that. <laughs> I don't know, like, I feel like he should have been in a private jet or something. Yeah, well, anyways, yeah. Yeah. the the funny thing, we start going down, you know, you leave, they film the Culver Studios, so from Culver, like, you pop out, like, you get onto the 10, you get onto the 405 to head south, and pretty quickly and we this, realize... It's like a kind of rickety, this... It's like, sh -sh -sh, yeah. and we're not going very fast, and it's like... It's not luxury. We're just getting, like... <laughs> Cars are just whipping by us, and everyone's kind of like, "Why are we going 40? Like this <laughs> on is the freeway, like this is going to take forever Ever. to get down there." And quickly we realize it's because the stairs of the bus were stuck down. So like you know, like the little you know yeah, hydraulic like stairs, stairs that, that pop down on the side, they're like the down. They're like. I don't know. Because the driver was saying, Six I don't know how inches. to get it. I don't know why it's not going faster, but it just won't. And it was like a safety thing yeah. that when the steps were down, you couldn't go above. I think it was like 40, 45. So we, so we stop at one point. It's like it took us two hours to go, I don't know, 30 miles. Oh, and then we noticed someone looks out because, you know, we're all kind of sleepy when we first got on. And someone uh, was near the front and had their head like resting against the window and opened their eyes and saw the steps down. <laughs> And it was like sparking a little bit. I'm like, no, 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 it wasn't sparking at that point. <laughs> it wasn't sparking at that point. But we're like, we need to pull off the road and, you know, it's like. Try to get these steps up. Try to get these steps up. So we pull off the highway and then on we. On a end up... random, we were on like the hard shoulder and it wasn't, you know, all these. It was just so funny because security was so tight with us for Comic Con. Like, and, and just generally on sets, we had bodyguards there the whole time. We had people that were making sure that scripts didn't get leaked. Everybody's sides had to be shredded at the end of the day. It was just security. All watermarked everything's with veins. watermarked. Security is <clears throat> like just so paramount with Marvel. <laughs> and then here are all the stars of the TV show, their first live action TV show, on the side of a freeway, trying to just push these stairs into this party bus that we're driving in. I mean, it was so, like Clark Gregg was on his hands and knees trying to get, and Greg was like pulling it from the Trying to figure and, out how to get these stairs up. And I'm just thinking, so this, is, this is the best thing Whatever, because if it was like too plush and nice, and whatever, it's like, would you remember it? It'd just be like a, a like a really it was fun just so thing. Funny. But like, this Did was so funny. Did we get the steps up? No, they never got up. We oh, that's off, right, because at the end, yeah. yeah, we pulled off in Orange County someplace to like try to get, because we're off the side of the 405 once. We just pulled off the side of the road. We couldn't get them up. Couldn't get them up. We like went. They were like, in. let's just do a proper stop. And Maybe we people went to can Starbucks get coffee. We got snacks because we didn't really have that. Like, we didn't really have any food, and it was just taking so much longer than yeah, we thought needed, it was going to take. So yeah. by, at this point, we're like an hour and a half behind schedule, with no way really of speeding up because what do you do? The car, the van won't go any faster yeah, the bus. and then so we get 
get back in the car, like everybody's got, I had a tea or a coffee or a water or whatever. And then someone's like, oh, I'm just gonna go use the restroom. And it's, you know, it's at the back of this little party bus, tries to open the door and it's locked. And then everyone goes, oh my God, this is a potentially, we've still got three, four hours left and the bathroom door is locked. <laughs> So then, cue, like, everybody getting up, all the guys, like, Clark, you, Eric, and Brett were like, well, how do we open it? Ian was, like, trying to jerry-rig this door open. Girls were like, oh, I've got a hair clip, like, let's try this. And <laughs> trying to get this door open. And then eventually, eventually, all the time, we're still buzzing along at 40 miles an hour. Eventually. Oh, also, it was so hot. The AC had the air, broken. The air conditioning stopped There was working. no, and it was... You know, at this point it started to get hot because we started when it was dark, Awful. but it was like really getting hot. <laughs> we're going so slowly, no air conditioning. And then we we tried to get the toilet door open. Anyway, eventually we got it open and I can't remember who did it in the end. Was it Ian? I don't know who did it. Somebody got it open and then realized and then they should have never have opened the door. Out pours all this trash paraphernalia and trash from what seemed like a 21st birthday party they were like red solo cups everywhere well it just um, like smelled like vomit yeah and, and, and there was beer cans in there and uh, like streamers and some other stuff that is like you just do not want to know and you don't really want to see on your party bus when you have Clark Gregg and Jennifer Grey <laughs> And obviously everybody had a great sense of humor about it, but it was just one of those things of like, this <coughs> bathroom was unusable. Well, the, can we jump forward to arriving? Yeah, so anyway, so everybody's bursting for the toilet. We arrive, we're so late. And this was, we had so much press to do on the Thursday. There was a huge anticipation about it. And the, the driver, um, well, we still didn't have the stairs up. No, the stairs were... were the we, st we roll into downtown yeah, we San were, Diego. We were meant to go... Oh, yeah, you're going to say about we the roll, tram? We, we roll into San Diego, downtown San Diego. We're all and if so sweaty. And if you've ever been... Some of you have probably been to San Diego Comic-Con, but they, they transform the entire downtown. Like, all of Alphabet City is... It's posters, and, like, there's a... There used to be a Walking Dead zombie walk, like, all this stuff. And every building is some promotion and the most heavily promoted like project not even tv show was agents of shield like the there's a train that runs like the train the side yeah, of it was agents of shield like, it was agents wrapped of shield. It was in like, our faces basically so we're driving buses in agents San Diego of shield in our little party bus with or, the stairs down with the stairs down sweating going at 25 miles an hour at this point a little like it was chugging along and then <laughs> Passing us, going faster than us, is this tram that is wrapped in Agents of Shield, and all our faces are like six foot high. And we were just going, "Oh my god!" It was oh, so. It was so. At this point, we're all delirious because we're so exhausted, and it was just such a funny journey. We finally get to that year. The cast was at uh, the Marriott Marquis because the Marriott Marquis is it adjoins right the, convention the convention center so it's like they we can bring, go around the back <clears throat> we're meant we're supposed to like all everyone's supposed to go into a specific place where it's like you easy like to load in and lay down and it's, yeah, all, like it's all kind stuff. of a bit secretive security and very and secure like all and all this stuff. stuff but for some reason the dri i think the driver was probably just so stressed at this point because every single thing had gone wrong well i think they had they had the street blocked in a certain way that they directed him like I think if you've never done it, if you've never done that drive before and driven to San Diego during San Diego Comic Con, it's very, it's so specific as to where you're meant to pull in. And as soon yeah. as you start going the wrong way, then all of a sudden you've got to go around this whole one way system and there's traffic and it's very stressful to drive. <laughs> so. so instead of going in the back with the security and like down underneath so we can go in the special elevator and go up and get start getting ready for this day of press that we're now probably two hours late for, um, we go in the front and, and to set the scene yeah the Marriott Marquis is on kind of a hill and so there's a pitch to the driveway it's a big circular drive and so and it's right next to the convention center which yeah. is packed full oh it's just loads like thousands yeah. of people are walking in front and, and everything 
there. Yeah, and we had blacked out windows on the on the bus. Yeah, so, you so didn't we know could what see we all there. these amazing <laughs> cosplays walking by and we saw Colsons and it was just so like it would have just been it's so surreal. fun if we could yeah. wind down the window and be yeah. like, Hey Jack Colson's in here. Anyway, we 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 get to the very front, and it's like, like the hotel. boy, this is gonna be. This is. I'm, but first, I'm, we're like, like, why are we going to the front? Why are we going? To, why are we going? Oh my gosh, here we are. We're at the front. <laughs> He's driving in, and because as Zach says, it slopes up to the entrance of the Marriott. <laughs> right at the front door. Right at the front, these stairs, the stairs that were still down start sparking. Sparking up. So we're driving again, and it's like. <laughs> Spark, 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 and spark. we get stuck. <laughs> like we're stuck in the bus with the, the stairs jammed into the concrete. In front of the busiest hotel in all of San Diego for Comic Con with hundreds, thousands of people walking by all Millions the of people. <laughs> Oh, it was so funny. We had no choice but to get out because we couldn't reverse out because the stairs were stuck down and we were so late. So out we all get absolute sweaty messes and nobody knew who we were unless you really studied the trams and the posters that they'd put up. But everybody knew Agent Coulson. So out comes Agent Coulson from this party bus <laughs> and we just walk through the lobby. The lobby. Yeah. And the lobby connects to the convention center so it's just filled with people all going to Comic-Con. Um, and in like through walks, Agent Coulson, and we just go up to the front desk and check in. And we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's like five hours later. Yeah. Everyone's like, looks like melted chocolate. It's just like drenched. And so tired and so just spaced and out of it. And here we are, ready to begin what would be the craziest few days of press and um, fan yeah. interaction I think yeah. any of us has probably ever yeah. had since. Anyway, that's our San Diego Comic Con party bus story. Wait, no, you have to jump to the end. We all get back from Comic Con, remember, and we're going to leave the parking lot to drive home. And Chloe gets in her car, and we're right behind oh, oh, Chloe, oh, oh, okay. leaving the parking lot. So this is when we're back in Los Angeles. Yeah, so Did Comic Con's we over. Party bus back now? Yeah, we took party bus back that year. Yeah, <laughs> a different party bus that was marginally better. Oh we, God, get back, so we get back we get back to LA. Everyone's like, "Wow, what a weekend! That was crazy." Plus ones. I see you. We're gonna, yeah, like we're kind of in like, this. Like, what's yeah, going on? Like, this so is crazy, fun, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And then we get back. So we're all saying bye. All our cars are still at the studio, uh, the lot where at we the, film. Uh, yeah, Culver. So you know, the particles rolls up. We all get in our cars, and um, you know, then we all say goodbye and drive off. And then. Um, Chloe, so we're kind of, you know, all about the same time, like, like, like in the car, getting ready to leave. Chloe is in front of us. I think we were the last car, probably because I always say spend like a thousand years. And she used to bike. have this Prius that yeah. I don't know what was wrong, but it, there's always something was wrong with this car, always. And so she goes to leave, and it's like, bye, oh my gosh, bye, like, the, how crazy was that? Okay, and we're right behind her. And she goes to leave, and like she uses her key card. Well, just paint the picture. So to leave the lot, you know, there's a there's guard, a, gate. Um, yeah. a guard <clears throat> pod thing, and then there's a, a one of those gates that is a, a barrier. It's an arm. And then you uh, swipe your card, and obviously it lifts, and then you drive through it, like in an underground parking lot, whatever. So Chloe's in front of us, and then I can't remember who's in front of her. Maybe Ming or Brett. So we're kind of in this line to go out. So the person in front of her, we do this every single day, twice a day. You know, you swipe your card, the barrier lifts, you drive through it. For some reason, and we were behind Chloe on this bit, for some reason, Chloe was like, oh, I'm just gonna go for it. So, like didn't she, wait for her turn. So she just drives through following the car in front. So the barrier's already up. So this is her car going through. And obviously the barrier then, she gets halfway through, so the 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 nose of her car, the bonnet, what do you call it again? The hood. The hood is halfway through and the barrier comes down on the top of her car, so right above her head. <laughs> and then she's like <gasps> So then she 
what do you do? You know, you kind of just have to keep going. So it bounced. Yeah, and then bang, she bang, just kept bang, going bang. and it just kept bouncing at different points on her car all the way down. And it's yellow, this thing. And her car was black. Oh, a dark black color. Or, yeah, it was, yeah, dark gray or something. So then she had these yellow like line smudges going all the way down her car and then when it got to the uh the boot the trunk it just scraped <laughs> along it and then went back down again and it was i think it was just us that was left no it was only us the end of the line we were the only people that saw it we i mean obviously stopped the car got out and just fell to the floor and chloe was on the other side of this barrier out of her car on the floor just in a fit of she was laughter. just dying laughing, like, and we were dying laughing. Why did I do that? Because yeah. our brains at that point were just so scrambled all over the place. Um, that was so funny. I never forget that. We've reenacted that a few times, as we were the cars, and then we had that noodle member, and we. Oh my videos. god! Yes. <laughs> we, we never did. let it li let her live it down. Basically. No, and we never will, Chloe. <laughs> we never will. My tombstone. We'll have that on it. <laughs> Remember when, Chloe. Remember when. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's the end of our San Diego, inaugural San Diego Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, it was crazy. Oh, it was crazy. It was crazy. All right, you guys. Have a great week. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Stay safe out there. Bye. Bye. <sighs> my God, that was my best one yet. You did fantastic. Hands on the wheel. Hands on the wheel.